Hey guys, welcome to Training Reviews. Now, if you're a YouTuber like myself who are trying to improve your audio game, then you're probably going to be looking at exploring at different microphones, different audio settings on your camera, and so on. So, I just wanted to give you a quick comparison. Now, I have two external microphones for my DSLR. The first one is the Rode Video Micro. And just recently, I bought this more expensive Sennheiser MKE 600 microphone. It's a shotgun mic that requires external power for it to work. Now I'm just going to give you a quick review and audio test in comparison with both of these uh, two mics. In my previous videos I've been using the Rode Video Micro microphone for my SLR camera. Now I'm going to give you an audio test. At the moment I'm using the internal audio for my Canon 200D. As you can see it's probably not that great of an audio. I'm going to switch over to the Rode Video Micro and give you an audio test on that. And then finally, just going to quickly give you an explanation about how this works and then give you an audio test for the Sennheiser mic as well. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's definitely worth the price and you guys can be the judge for yourselves. So let's have a look. This is an audio test for the internal mic on my Canon 200D camera. This is an audio test for my Rode Video Micro microphone. This is an audio test using my Sennheiser MKE 600 shotgun microphone. So there you have it guys, as you can see, the Sennheiser microphone, the quality was 10 times better than the, the Rode Video Micro that I've had. So the shotgun mic, it is a lot more expensive, but let me just break it down for you. This is about 200 to 250 pounds, depending on which retailer you buy it from. Now, it only comes with a few things. It comes with the shotgun clip with the cold shoe that you can add on into your SLR camera there. Now it's got an on off button there. Now it's pretty straightforward. It is powered in two different ways. So the first way, which is the way I was just showing you now, is battery powered. So all you have to do is twist this. And then it slides outwards. And you have one single AA battery that goes in there to power the, the shotgun microphone. Now this is one of the very few shotgun mics that allows two different various inputs for power. One is battery powered and the other one is phantom powered. Now phantom power, I'm going to be explaining a little bit more about that in an upcoming video, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. But at the moment, I'm just going to be covering how to power this with the battery and connect that to your SLR camera. It's a very straightforward way to do that. So insert a AA battery. Now it comes with the, the stand as I mentioned for the uh, cold shoe. It also comes with a windshield and a little pouch that you can store this if you want to carry it different places. One thing it doesn't come with is a cable that you need to connect this to your camera. So it's a little bit disappointing that it doesn't come with a box but you have to buy that separately. You can get it for less than £10 on Amazon. What that is, is an XLR to 3.5mm jack connector cable. So the bottom part of the shotgun mic is an XLR male input. So you need to buy an XLR female to 3.5mm jack. And what you do is you just insert that in there. Connect the other end into your SLR camera and then you simply just turn it on and then it starts giving you great audio straight away. My upcoming video, there is a, a way to power it using phantom power so you don't need to keep reusing AA batteries. And that basically allows you to connect through the XLR input to an XLR output using a preamplifier, which I'm going to be testing in an upcoming video. So I've heard very good reviews about using a preamp as well. It's give even better audio than this at the moment. So I'm going to be exploring that and uh, have a, a video coming up for you guys to look at that as well and compare the two. So that's how you set this up. It's For me, it's just the audio is just 10 times better. I'm not using my Rode Video Micro at the moment, but I'm going to be switching back to this to finalize the video and let me know what you guys think. Right, so I've just switched back to the Sennheiser mic. Now you can probably tell the big difference in the audio. I'm going to be exploring more on this, so thanks for watching guys. If you do have any comments about this shotgun mic, then please do leave a comment below. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up, I do appreciate that. Make sure you subscribe, I'm going to do a comparison using the shotgun mic using my SLR camera and using the shotgun mic using a preamplifier as you recording the audio separately and seeing the big difference uh, in the audio outputs then. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time.